Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share this wonderful recipe for Middle Eastern cookie for you. It's the same dough but we're going to make two different cookies. One is called Mamun and the other one is called Kaf Hibajwa because Kaf in um, Arabic means cake. So Kaf Hibajwa is the cake that's filled with dates. And these cookies are very popular in more Muslim community. They're usually made during Eid or Ramadan. And in the Christian Middle Eastern community, they're usually made for Easter and Christmas. I decided I want to search for a perfect recipe. I looked into so many recipes and half of them were in Arabic. It was a challenge. I had to gather all my Arabic friends to help me to translate some of the ingredients that they used in these cookies. But I think I found a perfect recipe. Before, I was looking for a recipe that is very authentic using either semolina, farina. I actually have a recipe on my channel about how to make mamu cookies out of the semolina and you can check it out if you want. It's actually been doing very well and I was surprised it was not criticized too much but um, by Middle Eastern community. Then I looked into recipes that are like three ingredients. That's it. I was like, wow, that's great. I can make that. It didn't come out very good. I think to make a perfect mamu cookie, you need perfect ingredients. And I think I found this perfect recipe, which I would like to share with you today. First ingredient you're going to get, it's called makhle. It's going to be a powder. It's usually grounded. You can get it in a seed form. It's a little tiny cherries that uh, they ground to make it into a spice. And that spice is used in mamu cookies. If I can describe to you, it probably tastes like a bitter almond, like a marzipan. Makhlep is a very popular spice in the Middle East. For example, in Egypt, they ground the seeds and make it into a powder. And then they mix this powder with honey and they spread it on the bread. So picture for us, Europeans or Western, uh, spreading the hazelnut spread on our bread and make it like irresistibly sweet. So that's how they use makhlep. For example, in Egypt, but it makes these cookies absolutely delicious. It gives them kind of like a, an almondy taste. The other ingredient we're going to be using in this recipe is ghee. What is ghee? Ghee is a clarified butter. Third ingredient that uh, we're going to get in the store, in the Middle Eastern store, it's something that's going to flavor our cookies and it's either orange, blossom water or rose water. You guys choose. I mean everybody has their own preferences. For somebody rose water is a little bit of a strong uh, flavor so they would use an orange blossom water and for somebody who just love rose water will use the rose water. I'm gonna be using the orange blossom water in my recipe today. And another ingredient that you guys have to make for kaki bajwa is the um, dates. You need to get dates. They usually come in a cake like this in the store. And at first I was searching for it everywhere. I didn't know where to get it. And I didn't even think that this ingredient would be kept in um, a refrigerated area. So I guess that, that makes sense because it's just ground up dates, so eventually they will go bad. So you need to keep it in the refrigerator. And then you can get like a small cake of that paste. If you're planning to make more cookies, then you can get two. And of course, you're gonna need some pistachios. You're gonna need some raw pistachios, not salted, 
not roasted raw pistachios because raw pistachios when grounded up are gonna give out that oil that we need to mold that filling and put it inside the cookie and you're gonna need some walnuts also raw walnuts these cookies are very decorated and each house housewife in Middle East would have like a different molds to mold these cookies into beautiful creations and gonna have little tools and gadgets to make them absolutely impressive. So today I want to share this recipe with you from my perspective, from somebody who is not Middle Eastern. I'm also gonna give you some tips on decorating these cookies. So let's go guys, let's get started. And here is the list of the ingredients and also will be mentioned in a description box below. You will need 7 cups, which is about 850 grams of all-purpose flour. To that we're gonna add a teaspoon and a half of makhleb and a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. We also gonna add two tablespoons of icing sugar. Then put your jar of ghee in a small saucepan with hot water to melt. Then you need to mix all dry ingredients well and to our dry ingredients we're gonna add two cups of melted ghee. And it's easier if you guys use gloves because there's gonna be some messy ingredients we need to combine. So I'm gonna be using gloves and we're gonna mix it through. Then you need to add three quarters of a cup of corn oil or vegetable oil and add just a little bit at first. Then mix your dough and if it's um, still too dry, you can add the remaining amount of corn oil. And keep mixing your dough and we are looking for a very right consistency of this dough. Then you need to add one cup of sweetened condensed milk. And this is what's going to make our cookie a little bit sweet, but not overly sweet. You guys will see. And then keep mixing your dough until the dough reaches kind of like a pliable consistency. For flavoring, we're going to add a half a cup of orange blossom water, but you guys can use the rose water if you like it better. And then keep mixing your dough. Then we're going to form our dough. We're going to kind of pound it down a little bit and we're going to cover it and let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes until we make our fillings. To make date filling for our khaki bajwa, we're going to need um, a package of uh, baking dates, which is about 400 grams. We're going to add two tablespoons of ghee to it and two tablespoons of orange blossom water. We're going to mix it well until the filling does not stick to your hands anymore and you can mold things out of it. So just like that. To make pistachio filling, you're going to need two cups of finely chopped pistachios to which we're going to add two tablespoons of sugar and about two tablespoons of orange blossom water. We're going to start mixing it and if your filling feels still dry, you can add a little bit more orange uh, blossom water and then you test it. If you can mold it into a ball, it's ready. And the same we're going to do for our walnut filling. Add two tablespoons of sugar and about two tablespoons of orange blossom water and mix it. And if you can mold it into a ball, your filling is ready. Now let's talk about mamul uh, molds guys for a second. I have quite a collection. I actually been collecting them for a while and you guys can either get them in, um, in any type of Middle Eastern store or you can get them on Amazon like I found mine. And um, it's always good to have a couple different designs so you can tell which cookie has which filling. And if you don't have those, you can just use little molds for little tarts. And then this is a cramping tool that we're going to be using. 
our dough has rusted so and as you can see guys it's completely moldable so let's start making our cookies for kakhibajwa cookies which are usually made in the form of a ring or a wreath we're gonna need to roll a couple snakes out of that date paste and then we're gonna roll a log out of the dough we're gonna put our snake in and we're gonna close the dough and we're gonna roll it again and if a little bit of dough is showing it's okay guys it's actually gonna look cute when we uh, mold these cookies so you form a ring out of it and I'll show you how to decorate it you're gonna need that cramping tool which you can also get in um, Middle Eastern store and you're gonna cramp some um, little pleats on the side and on the top of the cookie and look at this guys it looks exactly like a Christmas wreath it's so beautiful and you can be really creative to make these cookies absolutely beautiful and here is another one I want to show you uh, we're just gonna roll the dough into a bowl we're gonna put our date filling inside we're gonna roll it into a bowl again then we're gonna put it in that tartalette mold and then we're gonna use our mold to uh, mold it into a ring again and then you're just gonna cramp it um, on the side uh, to make it look beautiful so guys have fun with this tool to make our mamul cookies we're gonna follow the same technique we're gonna roll a bowl out of the dough then we're gonna make a well in the center we're gonna stuff it with some uh, pistachio filling and then we're gonna use this mold to just to firmly press the dough inside and look at this guys it comes out beautifully and then you can do the same with your walnut filling but make sure you get a lot of filling in there because these cookies are all about about the filling not the dough uh, and you were gonna press it in the mold and then here comes out the cookie you guys can be as creative as you want you can even use those cookie presses to make a cookie as beautiful as this and I found those in my pantry and I thought I'm gonna make something different and then we can just press it and look how beautiful this looks and if you want to use that cramping tool go ahead and use it just cramp it on the side and it even looks more beautiful and then this little tartalette mold uh, we can actually make our kakibajua cookie but it's gonna look totally different I don't think anybody <laughs> ever made a cookie looking like that look at this guys we're just gonna make that design with that cramping tool and it's gonna look absolutely beautiful just make sure guys that you use a different molds for a different cookies with a different fillings because you will need to tell them apart when they're baked then you need to bake your cookies at 375 degrees fahrenheit 200 degrees celsius for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they're slightly brown and your cookies are ready guys you could sprinkle them with a little bit of powdered sugar put them on a beautiful plate serve some tea and enjoy your cookies I hope you guys like this video and all the tips I have given you I hope you're gonna try making those beautiful cookies at home and share it with your friends thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe and I will see you soon bye